Do I not? Uh, um, what else do we have? Share content, sub video, mute. Zoom. There's Piera. How's it going, Piera? Hi, I'm going well, and you? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Okay. All right. I think we're getting there. <laughs> So I do apologize that um, my, my screen is a little different to, to normal or my space, just kind of where, where I am tonight at a friend's place. Um, so we'll just do the best we can. Participants. Uh, so Piera, do you mind if I just make you a co-host so just in case something happens with my internet um, or, or something like that you can just carry on for me <laughs> <laughs> is that okay no no pressure <laughs> okay, no pressure <laughs> I'm deputizing Colleen if, if something goes wrong with my internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, mine's already down. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make you I'm I'm like a co host. Um, so <laughs> if anything goes wrong, well, that um, you can also help out. So, but usually when I assign someone co host, then everything. Everything usually works. <laughs> um, usually it's all good. So um, welcome to Lorena. She's joining us. She's um, actually from Chamoyo, so down the road from where I am in Mozambique. This is her first class. And Hi, Lorena. Class, we're going to keep it nice and gentle. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, simple and, yeah, just fun so that you know. <laughs> cool. so we will be doing that. Um, and I'm sure I know uh, Rabia is going to join still. So um, I'm, it's, everything is so tiny on my phone. So maybe if you, Rabia wants to come in, could you just um, admit her? Um, and if there's anything else, then <laughs> or anyone else who wants to join, maybe just let them in, please. Um, and if there's anything, you guys can always unmute yourself and just say, hey, <laughs> it's not working or, or whatever the story is. Um, cool. So I think it is probably round about time to get cracking. Um, so that looks good. Um, and you, I'm going to let you guys mute yourselves today because uh, I don't actually know where to do that on this little screen. <coughs> I'm trying to grab, I'll be there in a second, just <laughs> navigating the room here. Are you going to start off sitting super comfortably? Um, so really in whichever way works for you. So if that means you need to sit on a block or a brick or a, um, yeah, anything like that, then go ahead and do so. And we will start off by closing our, our eyes for just a minute. And if you're like me, you probably need to take a good couple of deep, long, slow breaths to center yourself. So as you inhale, just notice and feel the air flowing in. And as you exhale, feel the air, the breath flowing out. Smooth inhalation, slow, long, deep inhalation. And so slow, long, deep exhalation. You might find that as you really focus on the breath, taking slower, deeper breaths, that things start to settle quite easily and quite quickly. 
you might find that all that kind of buzziness and busyness is softening and it's kind of retracting inwards. Just noticing. Maybe there's a feeling of softness. Maybe there's a feeling of space. As you breathe and you settle deeper and deeper within yourself, you might notice that you need to adjust your position. You might feel that you need to lean a little further back. Maybe you tilt it to one side and just gently, millimeter or two, adjusting to bring yourself back towards a more central place position. Maybe adjusting the level of the arms or the shoulders. Placing the hands onto the belly. As you inhale, feel the belly expand. And as you exhale, feeling a slight contraction as if you're drawing the navel towards the spine and the belly's going backwards. Inhaling, relaxing the abdomen. Imagine it ballooning outwards as if it's a balloon filling with and exhaling, allowing the navel to come back. Slow, smooth, steady breaths. And then from there, releasing your hands again, moving into the head and neck. So as you exhale, draw the chin into your throat, tilting your head down. And then as you inhale, bringing your head back up to neutral. Do that twice more. Exhale, draw the chin into the throat, tilting the head down, moving to the rhythm of your breath. And if your breath is a little shorter, then the movement might be a little quicker this evening. If you've got nice, slow, long, deep breaths, your movement might be a little slower. So instead of doing three rounds dynamically, you might just end up doing two rounds. And then we turn the head. So you have to turn your head to the right as you exhale, so if you're looking over your right shoulder. Inhale, bringing the head back to the center. Exhale to the other side. Lovely, and again, you continue moving dynamically to the rhythm, the length of your breath. Remember, no two people breathe at exactly the same pace or rate at the exact same time. So adjust and adapt to what works with you this evening. One last round to each side. Lovely. And once you've returned to the center, you're going to allow your right ear to release down to your right shoulder. And just gently reach the left fingertips away from you. So you can reach the fingertips onto the ground, the mat beside you. So that you're feeling that stretch all the way down the neck, gently down through the upper arm, down towards the elbow. Don't feel that you need to force or strain it. Breathing into it. So for those who used to Kind of yoga and comfortable with it and work with it regularly you can do this whole class with your eyes closed so that you're really internalizing it inhale bring your head to the center release the arm exhale the other side and for those who are a little newer with me and kind of not not used to my instructions you might just have to keep an eye on the movement every now and then but again, when something feels comfortable, just close the eyes and feel that you can go from there. You might just want to observe, come, kind of compare how the right side feels to the left. Maybe you're already noticing that one side's a little stiffer than the other. More loose, inhale back to the center. 
Drawing both arms up through the center, interlock your fingers, it doesn't matter which way, slip your hands behind your head, supporting your head, and your thumbs will be on either side of your neck. And then from there, as you exhale, you need to just gently tilt over to the right side. And as you inhale, coming back to the center, and exhaling, tilting over to the left side. So you're keeping your torso nice and upright. You continue moving dynamically with your breath. Bring yourself over to one side. On the inhalation, back to the center. You can see Rob has just joined. Let me let it in. There we go. And the next time you are over to your right side, you can stay on that side. Hold it here and breathe into it. So you should be able to feel the whole left side. It's just gently opening up. There's a gentle squeeze down into the right side. So you're just gently squeezing down into the descending colon. Or your ascending colon, I'm doing the opposite direction to you so that I can mirror you. Inhale back to the center, exhale to the other side. You're just gently gazing towards the right now, kind of towards your right armpit. You can draw your elbows back, opening the chest. Feel you know how one side lengthens and the other side gently contracts. Face and the jaw soft, so there's no need for tension in the face. Inhale, coming back up to the center. Reach both arms up. And then as you exhale, release out to the sides and down. Inhale, taking the shoulders forwards and up. Exhale, taking them back down and around. So we're circling the shoulders. So as you inhale, the shoulders go forwards and up. Exhaling, taking them back down and around. And you continue with that a few times. Inhaling, taking the shoulders forwards and up. And as you exhale, taking them back down and around. And then changing direction. So this time the shoulders go back and up. Exhale, forwards and down. Super. And then notice which way your legs are crossed and then shake them out, lift them up, give them a good shake. Cross them the other way. And from here, placing the hands onto your knees or your shins, whatever you feel comfortable going to draw yourself forwards. Take yourself over to one side. Generally, I go to the right first, and then you're going to lean back. And then you're going to take yourself over to the left, and then you're going to come forwards again. So you're circling your torso. It's as if you are stirring a pot. So you might find that as you come forwards, you would like to exhale. And as you lean back and you open up into your chest, you create space in the abdomen you want to inhale. As you close, you may want to exhale. And as you inhale, you may want to lean back. And again, depending on how open your hips feel, how open and loose the sides of the body feel will depend on how big or small you want to make the circle. So even if you want to do just a very small little circle this evening, that is absolutely fine. And if you really feel that you're nice and loose, and you want to go deeper and further, then you can make it a really big circle. So you adapt and change it to what your needs are. We change direction. So it's as if we're now unspiraling. Now, same thing happens. You may want to exhale as you come forwards, and then you may want to inhale as you lean back. And keeping your base fairly stable. So you don't want to feel like you're kind of like rocking and collapsing around. You want to have a fairly sturdy base. Obviously, there's going to be some movement. And then back to the center, as if, if we do a cat stretch now. So I'll just see if it might be easier to tell from if I sit sideways so that you can see. As you inhale, you need to lift your chest. You need to roll your shoulders back and down. And as you exhale, you're going to round your spine, tuck your chin and looking towards your navel. And this is if you're leaning back, you can hold on to your shins to kind of drop back. 
as you inhale, you rock forwards on your sitting bones, opening up. And then as you exhale, rounding, leaning back. Nice more inhale as you open. Exhale as you round. Last two. And from there, releasing, stretching the legs. I think I'll actually stay this way. This looks like a, it's a bit clearer. <laughs> I'll come all the way into my little corner here. Um, you're going to stretch the legs out. We'll work into those legs, circling them. So taking them about hip width apart, or maybe even a little wider than hip width apart. Big toes come together and circling the feet around. So you'll find that you're releasing into your ankles, you're probably releasing like say into the knees and right up into the hips as well. And then change direction, circling in the other way. Super. Good job. And then from there release. The legs come a little closer together. Just point the toes and hands. And legs integrate. Come down. Legs. Down. Down. Right up on us now. Our cobble. The soles of the feet come together here. So drawing the feet in towards each other. Have them a comfortable distance away from, from your body and allow the knees to flap up and down. So just noticing how much or if there is any stiffness in those hips. You might find that one side feels a little stiffer than the other. You might feel absolutely balanced or perfect today. It's always good to check in every time we do it to see if there, there is any change. There's been any change from the last time we practiced. And then we settle that movement and you can either walk your buttocks closer towards your heels or you can just draw your heels in towards you. Wherever your hands feel comfortable, resting on your knees, your ankles, or you can interlock your fingers and slip them around your toes. Sitting nice and tall. Very tempted to show you all my lovely toes. I was very spoiled and had a pedicure <laughs> today. Not that that's got anything to do with yoga, but I thought I would just let you know. So sitting nice and tall, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing into your hips. Smooth, steady breaths. And then as you breathe, feel that you can take your attention down into the area that you feel is releasing. So just start by breathing into the belly. And as you exhale, imagine your belly softening. And really tightness around the abdomen, just gently melting or floating away. And breathe deep into your hip joints. And as you exhale, imagine your hips relaxing and releasing. And breathe into your inner thighs. Sometimes we hold a lot of tension in the inner thighs. And if there's tension there, that you can breathe space into it and with the exhalation you release and let it go. Breathe into your knees, do the same with the knees, imagine creating space on the inhalation and on the exhalation imagine the knees relaxing and softening. Inhale down into your ankles, as you exhale relax your ankles. Breathe in down into your feet, as you exhale, relax your feet. And breathe into your whole body. And as you exhale, allow your whole body to soften. And then on the next exhalation, bring the legs together, give them a good squeeze. And we'll start off with. Chakra Bhakasana, our cat stretch. So we'll come on to all fours. I'm just going to turn it around because it's actually much better this way. So 
We'll have our knees underneath the hips, hip width apart. Hands underneath the shoulders, shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers really nice and wide. And when you spread your fingers wide, feel that you can press down into um, the pads of the hands. The middle fingers facing forwards. And press down through the shins and the top of your feet. Like we did when we were seated, as you inhale, roll the shoulders back, relax the abdomen, you're just gazing forward. And as you exhale, you need to round your spine, tuck under your chin, tuck under your chin. Simple, soft, gentle, slow cat stretches. This is just such a lovely movement for your back and your spine to warm up the spine, to release tension from the back. Exhaling as you round and inhaling as you release. Perfect, lovely. Continue moving with your breath. So each inhalation, you are opening. Each exhalation, you're rounding your spine, humping up your back. Last two. And last one. And take yourself back onto your heels if that feels comfortable. If not, again, you can sit any which way works for you. Rotate your wrists and your hands. And you can circle them the other way. Click the fingers a few times. Shake them out. And then we're going to come back into that position. So we're going to come back down to all fours. This time what we're going to be doing is as you inhale, you're going to send your right leg back. So you're going to extend the leg back along the floor. You're going to lift that foot off the mat, bringing it about hip level or so. And as you exhale, you're going to slide the knee in towards your chest. So you're going to hug that knee up in towards you. So as you inhale, you're going to slide and extend the leg back and up. And as you exhale, you're going to bring the knee towards the chest and you can bring your nose in the direction of your knee as well. So you're really grounding. Inhale, and you're extending back and up. And as you exhale, drawing yourself back. You can make this a deep breath practice or you can keep your breath soft. If you really feel like exhaling, you can Exhale out the mouth, side that breath up. That's not really appropriate for where you are, for your situation. You're going to breathe just one last time, breathing in, extending the leg back. And this time, as you exhale and you draw that leg in, you need to tuck under your toes and you need to take your weight back. So it's as if you're pushing back into a child's pose. And you'll find you're getting a little bit of a stretch into your Achilles tendon, into your calf. Then we're going to come back forwards. We extend the legs straight back again. And again, as you exhale, the knee comes forwards. We tuck under the toes. And we take the weight back so that the arms lengthen diagonally. Inhale, we bring ourselves forwards. The leg goes back. Forwards, we tuck under the toe. And we take the buttocks towards the heel. Let's do one on the side, inhaling as you extend, exhaling as it comes forward. Lovely. And release. Let's sit you up for a moment. Again, release those wrists. I just want to rotate them a few times. And the other way, shake them out, flick them out. Whatever you feel, even just pulling the wrists a little feels quite comfortable. Then we do exactly the same thing. So we back, we now extend the left leg back, or the leg you didn't work, it doesn't really matter which one. And then as you exhale, bringing the knee in towards the chest. As you inhale, sliding the leg back and up, you can look towards the front of your mat. As you exhale and you bring your knee to your chest, you can draw your nose towards your knee. Again, you can keep it as a soft, smooth breath. 
or you can do a deeper breathing practice where you exhale out through the mouth. Again, whatever is or feels most comfortable for you tonight. You're just getting that movement of the leg extending from back and up. And then it's drawing in towards your chest, feeling kind of how you're lifting that knee up. So you're working into that hip joint. And then with the next one, we're going to start working with that little foot action again. So as you exhale and you bring your knee in towards you, you need to tuck under your toes and you need to take your buttocks back towards the heels. So excuse my buttocks, but I'll just show you what it looks like from the back. You need to inhale, you need to send the leg back. You need to exhale, you need to draw the knee in, you need to tuck under the toes and you need to release back. We do more on the side. We do about a set of five on both sides. Five or six. Again, just depending on how deep, long, slow your breath is. Once you've done an even amount on both sides, you may need to do an extra one. You may need to do you can come and sit back again. Maybe sink. Way, checking out, and then again, we're going to come onto all fours. We'll take it into a little bit of a balance before we move on. This could be interesting. Let's move diagonally here. So, we'll take the right leg back, so extending the right leg back and up, and then extending the left arm forwards and up. So, right leg, left arm. Watch that you don't collapse into your lower back. So engage the abdominals, drawing the abdominal up and up. Keep the neck nice and long. So feel that there's no creak up or hanging neck. So the neck stays an extension of your spine. When you're ready, release hand and leg. And then we do the same thing on the other side. So you can take some the opposite leg, the left leg, and you can bring your right arm forwards and up. Again, slow, smooth, steady breath. So watch as you don't hold your breath while you hold your balance. <laughs> and then when you ready, release, you're going to tuck under your toes this time. You're just going to keep your toes nice and tucked under. You need to sit back onto your heels. If that is too much weight onto your feet, then you just stay up again. You might want to interlock your fingers this time and kind of do like a wave-like motion with your hands and your wrists. Crack, 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 creep, creep, creep. And then maybe see if you can reverse that movement. We're going to do one last posture on um, all fours and then we'll come, come off our poor little hands and hands, wrists and um, feet. So for this one, we are going to be back on two or fours. We're going to extend the right leg back. I'm going to use the side so you can see. And then as you exhale, you're going to do the same movement that you did before, where you slip the knee in, except this time, instead of tucking under your toe, you're going to bring your foot forwards towards where your hands are. And we're going to take the weight forwards. And just watch that the knee doesn't go too far over your big toe. So if it goes a little over, it's fine. If not, then just wiggle and use that front foot forward. And then from there, you're going to take your weight back a little so you can feel it nicely into that right hamstring. So we're going to move dynamically again. You need to move forwards and you'll feel it into your left hip flexor. And then moving back, feeling it into that right hamstring. And just feel that you're not putting too much weight down into your left knee. So you kind of want to lift yourself up a little so that you don't kind of crack and creep into that supporting knee. Making sure it's comfortable. You can always place a soft pillow, a blanket, or a towel underneath that knee so that it feels a bit more comfortable. 
And again, after a little while, you might notice that your body starts to release and open up and you might find that you can go a little bit further. Again, if I feel that you're forcing it or that you have to go further or deeper, it's more just noticing if it happens. And then from there, we are now going to stay forwards. And we're going to gently draw the arms forwards and back into a lunge. So we're going to ground down through the right foot. We're going to push down through the back of the left foot, reaching the arms forwards and up. Feel that you can lift evenly through both sides of your torso. neighbors watching through the <laughs> windows and the curtains. So breathing and lifting up. And then slowly release, bring the hands back down onto either side of your foot. And then you just sink your left leg back. You might want to just release off the knees or the sole, give them a bit of a rub. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. So this time slipping that left foot or whichever leg didn't work out in front of you. Taking the weight forwards. And if the knee goes a little over your big toe, that's not, not, not too stressful. But if you find that you're really going over it quite a lot, then just walk that foot forwards. So you're sinking down into the hip, feeling that you're opening up into that right hip flexor. And then leaning back and feeling a nice stretch into the hamstring. And don't feel that you are uh, that you need to overstretch into the hamstring. If your hamstring is really tight, please don't go any further than necessary. There's no need to get the buttocks all the way back or anything like that. Just making sure it's comfortable. Smooth, easy, soft movement. So remember your dynamic movements are what create space, what help to release. And your static postures, movements help to build a bit more strength. Maybe just staying back for a moment, breathing into the back of that leg. And taking the right force. Settling comfortably here, inhale, reach the arms forward and up, come up into a lunge. Watch that you're not collapsing into the back and out of yourself. That feels more comfortable. Reach into the fingers. And watch that you don't slide your shoulders up to your ears. Imagine drawing shoulders back and down. And that you're lifting from your elbows through to your wrists. Allow the lift to come from there. On the upper shoulders. Super smooth, easy breathing. And as you exhale, release. And take yourself into Mandukasana, your frog. So let your big toes come together, let your knees come nice and wide apart. Slip your hands out in front of you. And you can rest on your forearms, or if you would like to go a little bit further, you can sit the elbows out to the sides. You can make fists of your hands, and you can rest your forehead on your hands. And if you feel you want to go even further, you can extend your arms straight out in front of you and release your chest down to the mat. So again, choosing whichever option you're wanting to, to do this evening, and just breathing into that posture as you hold there. <clears throat> Feeling that on the inhalations, you're able to create space. On the exhalations, you're able to relax and sink a little deeper into your posture. Again, 
extend your arms out in front, walk them towards you. Coming out of your posture. You might want to come up onto your knees, lean back to drain the sinuses, opening up into your chest. And then from here, we move towards Adamoka Swanasana, downward facing dog. So from all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale as you tap into your toes. And then from here, you to exhale, push back and up. And into your downward facing dog. So you might want to cycle the legs a little, feel that you're able to warm up into your calves and back of your knees, perhaps ring. Feel that you can spread your fingers wide, that you can lift the sinews up. The spine is long and free, the neck is just hanging comfortably. If at any stage you need a break, you come down onto your knees, you take a couple of breaths. You come up again when you're ready. Again, you adjust and you adapt so that it feels right for you. If your neck has been tight today, you might just want to turn your head a little from side to side while you hold your posture. Smooth, soft, easy breath. And then when you're ready to come out, instead of coming down, you're going to bend your knees, walk your feet towards your hands, or walk your hands towards your feet, either or. You're going to hang into a floppy forward bend. Stay here. And then very, very slowly, curving. Bring the neck in there at last. Bring your hands down may want to support your back with your hands open your chest <sighs> excellent and then from there you see my head's being chopped off a little there we go standing comfortably let's have the feet about hip width apart take it into circling the hips find freedom and space there Moving the other way. A few times each direction. And then from here, if you've got a wall nearby or let's look at the wall covered, um, moving into your half a forward bend. So if you've got a door, a wall, a table, anything like that, anything that you kind of place your hands on, from about halfway down. Walk your feet back so that you now look like a tabletop. And we're going to hold it there. You might want to soften into the back of your knees. There's a bed or a couch or a windowsill, anything will do. And if not, you just bring your hands onto your thighs. And that'll do as well. It's just nice to have a little bit of a wall out in front of you so that you don't have to keep your hands up yourself. You've got some resistance to push into. So in this position, you're going to straighten one leg and bend the opposite knee. Halfway. So that you'll find your pelvis rolls a little. You feel that you can breathe and stretch open into the side that you're extending and lengthening. And see if you can press a little bit more into the hand on the wall on that side. So you get a little bit more length through that side of your body. And then bring yourself back to a neutral position where both knees are just slightly bent. And you're lifting up the buttocks, lengthening to the spine. And then bend the opposite knee quite a bit and straighten the other leg that you didn't work with. And then press into that hand, the opposite hand again. That, the hand that you didn't work with. So the same arm as leg that is straight. And just breathing and lengthening through that side. You might find that one side there's a little bit more freedom, there's a bit more space and length compared to the other side. You're just noticing that this evening. And coming back to the center, even out here, lengthen, so soften into the back of the knees, lift the sitting bones, lengthen evenly through the spine. The back of the neck long, 
and then lift your head a little and start to walk your feet towards your hands. Make sure you lift your head so that you don't bash it against the wall. Again, once you're up close, slip your hands into your lower back and gaze up towards the ceiling. And release it. And then from here, we'll take it into our main posture for this evening, taking it into our dancer, Natra Jasna. So for that, let's ground down through our right leg. Let's see. And as you ground down through the right leg, you can bring the left foot, your heel towards one of your buttocks. And we're trying to work the knees together. This part of my not my diagonal. So the knees are together, the buttocks is towards the heels. You need to watch that you don't collapse into your lower back. So you need to just gently think of tilting the tailbone under as if you're zipping up your pair of jeans. Just getting that sensation. And you should already feel a nice stretch through the front of that quadricep. And then the opposite hand, you need to reach that arm up towards the ceiling. So if you're grounding down through your right foot, to be extending your right arm. For those who want to take their posture further can do so. Otherwise, just hold into your breathing. Again, wherever the tightness or the resistance is, feel that you can breathe into that space. You might find that it's in the front of that left thigh. Again, an opening through at the right side of the body. Keeping that balance, focusing onto one spot in front of you, smooth, even breaths. And then releasing your arm and your leg. And just walking it out a little. And do the same thing on the other side. Once you've got your balance with your left foot, grab hold of your right foot. Why should you bring your knees, your knee in? Feel that you can tuck under the tailbone a little. Again, sensation of kind of drawing the pubic bone up as if you're zipping up a pair of jeans. Drawing that right leg back a little now. Once you've got your balance and you feel comfortable, you don't have your balance, you can always use a wall. But if you do have your balance, let's see how it goes on the side, you can extend that left arm up, reaching into the horizon. Smooth, even, steady breaths. So you'll find that as you breathe, your body actually moves with your breath. You know, you'll, there'll be a little bit of swaying or moving up and down, and that's completely normal and natural. We are not like solid pieces of steel structure. We are dynamic humans, so we, we move, we adapt, we change. So feel that your breath can be deep and slow and long, and that you move with your breath. There's that expansion, this is sensation of expansion on the inhalation. And moving back inwards in the exhalation. When you're ready, releasing leg and arm. You might want to just walk out those legs a little. Very nice. Then we'll take it into a full Uttanasana. You can choose if you want to do a full version or a nice soft floppy forward bend. Having feet about hip width apart, that's always a comfortable distance to, to work into a forward bend. We're going to soften the knees nicely. We're going to tilt from the pelvis. So as if you're going back towards that wall, that same kind of sensation. And then you're going to bend the knees more and you're going to allow your lower ribs to come and touch your thighs. And you're just going to hang down. You might want to hook your thumbs into your elbows. Relax the head and the neck. Easy, soft, slow breath. So kind of allowing the back of the legs to, to open and stretch, but not doing it in a forceful way. The spine is supported. 
Yeah. She's supporting the front of your spine by resting the abdomen on your thighs. And kind of allowing the front of your body to release into yourself. Such a lovely feeling. Three more slow breaths here. After those three breaths, you can release your hands to the mat. You can bend your knees even more so you're coming down into a squat. You can support yourself with your hands and then you can draw, you can bring yourself all the way down. And you just your legs crashing. Or you can come down any which way. From here, let's take on a bit better. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, into a twist. So having the legs out in front, we'll keep the right leg extended, bending the left knee up and in towards you, like we've been doing most of the evening. This time, cross that leg into the outside of your right leg. Wrap your right arm around your left leg. You need to slip your left arm behind you, breathe and lift up tall. And then from here, just gently rotate and twist towards the left. And you can look over your left shoulder towards the left. You can keep your head in the center, whatever works for you. <laughs> Sorry. Keep breathing, keep holding it there. Smooth, smooth breath. Lie down. And then when you're ready, come back to the center. And we do the same thing to the other side. So you need to keep the left leg extended straight. You need to bring your right knee in towards you. And then from there, you're going to take that leg across the body. Wrap your left arm around your leg. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, twist towards the right. Slow, smooth, steady breaths as you hold the chest. You look over your right shoulder, that feels comfortable. Keep your head neutral. Watch that your left leg stays straight. Just watch that it doesn't drop in or out. And counteracting with a really soft forebend. You can keep your knees as bent as you need to have them. Bring your upper body to rest on your thighs. You can hook your arms under your legs or you can hold on to the sides of your feet. Everything, bringing everything back into alignment, into neutral. Slow, long breaths, not quick, short breaths like my dog, which you probably hear. Trying to lengthen, slow, slow down your breathing. When you're ready, inhale from all the way out. And if you need to lean back, please go ahead and do so. And back to the center. Super. And then from here, we're going to take it into our yoga nidra, our relaxation. So for the relaxation, all you need to do is you're going to come and lie on your back. If you want, you can place a pillow underneath your knees, underneath your head. If you need a cover, your jerseys, you can put your jerseys on. If you want to, you can switch off the light. Um, I'm just trying to think what else we do. Eye bags, bolsters, blankets, socks. Yeah, whatever, whatever you need. You need to just come and lie down on your back in a comfortable lying position. I'm going to stay seated so that I can talk you through the, the relaxation. 
So when you lie on your back in your relaxation pose, you're welcome to either have your knees bent if you find that that's more comfortable for your knees, or you just stretch your legs out into the ground. So see what is most comfortable for you this evening. So if I lie down now, I'm not going to be able to talk. So I'll be sitting up comfortably. You just start off lying on your back. And as you lie on your back, let your head roll a little from side to side. Just releasing the last little bit of tension from your neck. And then let your head come back to the center. Let it rest there. Take tight fists of your hands. Reach your hands down towards your feet. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then as you exhale, relax and release. Soften your hands, soften your feet, and let go. And then as you breathe in, scrunch up your buttocks. Tighten your legs, tighten your feet. And as you exhale, relax and release. Soften the legs, soften the feet, soften the buttocks. Inhale deeply and allow your belly to expand. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Exhale, you can sneeze out or just release your breath. Inhaling, allow your belly to rise. Exhaling, let him go. Once more, breathing in deeply, breathing in fully. Exhaling, let it go. Now you allow your whole body to relax and release. And if you don't follow the full relaxation, it really doesn't matter. You just kind of slot into where you, you follow and you will know when we are finished. I will let you all know. So as you lie there, take your attention right down to the soles of your feet. Imagine breathing down into the base of your feet, feeling the lovely sense of expansion in the feet. And as you exhale, relax and release. Soften the feet, soften your toes, relax your ankles. As you inhale, take your awareness up into your shins and your calves. And as you exhale, imagine the shins and the calves relaxing and releasing. Inhale, take the attention into your knees, your kneecaps and the area behind your knees. And as you exhale, relax your knees. Inhale, as you draw your attention up your thighs hamstrings, your inner and your outer thighs, your upper legs completely relaxed and released. Inhale into your hips and your pelvis. Exhaling, relaxing and releasing. Inhaling imagine imagine drawing your breath, your attention up your spine. And the tip of your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, you relax your buttocks. You relax the sacrum. You relax your lower back. Your mid back. upper back and shoulder blades, relaxing the back of your neck and the back of your head, the back of your body completely soft and relaxed, taking the attention to the front of your body and relaxing the pelvis, the abdomen, Relaxing all your abdominal organs. Imagine that as you inhale, you're creating space and lightness in the abdomen. As you exhale, there's a releasing, a letting go. Breathing into your diaphragm. 
relax in that space. Nailing into your chest. Your lungs, your ribcage. Exhaling, relaxing. Inhale across your shoulders. And as you exhale, relax the collarbones, relax the top of the shoulders. And notice how your breath spirals down your arms, relaxing your upper arms, relaxing your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, your hands and each of your fingers. Arms and hands completely relaxed. Watching the breath gently spiraling through the throat up into your face. So you're relaxing the throat and the neck. Relaxing the chin, the jaw, the teeth and the tongue. Relaxing your mouth, your lips, your nose, your cheeks, your ears, and even the space behind your ears relax. Relaxing your eyes, your eyelids, your eyebrows. Softening the space between your eyebrows, your forehead and your temples, your whole body completely relaxed. As you breathe in, it feels as if your whole body is gently expanding. And as you exhale, it feels as if your whole body is returning back to your center point. Inhaling, expanding, exhaling, releasing. And as you continue to experience that expansion and contraction which feels as if you're pulsating, pulsating with the rhythm of the universe. So I'm going to stay here for another full minute, just breathing at your own pace, feeling that expansion and gentle contraction. See if you can do that for the next eight breaths or so, very slow. Enjoying the quietness, the stillness that you're harnessing from the breath. When you are ready, slowly just release that practice. Imagine it just drifting off into the distance. You bring yourself back to the present time, the present space that you are in now. Becoming aware of the sounds within the room you are in. And you begin to breathe a little more deeply. Inhaling, feeling, which is gentle sense of expansion again, firmness beneath your body, 
exhaling, becoming a bit more aware of the sounds around you, breath becoming a little deeper, a little firmer, a little stronger. And then as your breath becomes deeper, you begin to move your thumbs along your fingertips, waking up your hands, and you wiggle your toes, waking up your feet. When you are ready, you can stretch your arms up at home. But you can yawn if you want to. You might want to stretch diagonally through your body, right arm and left leg, left arm and right leg. Arms one way, legs the other. Take a nice deep breath. And then let it go and when you're ready you can roll onto your right side you just stay there for a moment give your body a chance to readjust and when you're ready you can place your left hand in front of your chest come all the way up into a seated position and when you're in a seated position bring your hands onto your heart just take three slow Deep breaths into that heart center again. Just taking a moment to kind of acknowledge and thank yourself for making the time this evening for you. Giving yourself that little bit of a pause, that bit of breathing space. And taking a moment to think of three things you've been grateful for today, no matter how simple intricate it is. And from there when you're ready you can bring the palms of your hands together rubbing them and cupping them over your eyes to the deep breath in. Then sigh the air out. Blink the eyes a few times so that you start to get used to the light as you move your hands away. And namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and joining. It was lovely to have you here on my little <laughs> trip away from home. So well done. And you're welcome to all unmute yourselves. Um, whoopsie, whoopsie. There we go. Well done, everyone. Oh, Taryn, you're still there. You didn't conk out. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good. Have a lovely evening. Oh, Colleen, you're also still there. Good job. Lorena, Thank you me. made it to survive, Lorena. Yes. <laughs> okay. And the English, was it difficult to follow or not too bad? Not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Good just uh, because I'm not used to the, to the movements and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll come with time. But well done. Good job for joining. Thank you. Cool. You're off, Colleen. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, Nina. Thank you. lovely, as always. Thanks. You're welcome. Take care. You too. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank you, Nina. Bye. Bye. You're welcome, Sarah. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hey, Rob, you're there. Hey, good job. <laughs>